Hey, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. And in this video, I want to whet our VBA appetite a little just to show some of the possibilities that exist. This is something I created a few years back when I was bored one weekend. And this is just to highlight the fact that um, most times we are limited by our creativity. Agreed, there's a lot that Excel and Excel VBA may not be able to do. But there's a lot it can do that we haven't taken advantage of okay so it's time to let the cat out of the bag i know this is something a lot of people probably can't create or haven't just thought about it okay start game put in a name james and you have something that looks like this I purposely made excel go away just to create the illusion that you know it's something outside of Excel. So as you can see, it kind of looks like, I think, you know, the who wants to be a millionaire <laughs> game. I have my money tree here, which will be increasing as you get the questions right. I have a countdown timer. I also have lifelines, 50-50 ask the audience, walk away, which currently work. I need to just figure out what to do with the funny friend. Let's just get in and see how it works. So which of these shows the name of the current workbook? I think that's the title bar. I create like a three seconds delay just to mimic that time of, you know, apprehension. Like, oh, is it right? Isn't it right? You know, if it turns green, it's correct. If it turns red, it's wrong. Initially, I used to trigger the next question, you know, once this is answered after like three, four seconds. But I just decided to have more control. And uh, that's why I have the next button here. Once you click the next button, the money tree increases, right? The timer resets. Now let's do a 50-50 here on this question. So I do a 50-50. You can see that it takes out two incorrect answers and leaves at least the correct answer and one incorrect. Logic has to be fine so that you don't take out the correct answer and that just throws everything away. So there's a lot of thought that does go into this. So I select Control Shift L. Right. If it turns green, I'm fine. Okay, it's good. My money tree, you know, would go up as I do next. I initially used to have, you know, uh, the music in here, the sounds. But I've taken that of this is just like a stripped down version for demonstration purposes. Okay, so and once you use a lifeline, it becomes grayed out. So you can see that 50-50 cannot be used again. It's grayed out because it's being used. Okay, so you can only use it once. So let's try ask the audience now. Okay, so this is my virtual audience, right? And there's some logic here just to simulate reality in the sense that if a question is easy, the audience would likely get it. As the questions increase in difficulty, there's a greater likelihood that they wouldn't, which is what happens, you know, in real life, for example. So for each question, I have like a difficulty um, rating, and based on that, some randomization, it kind of works or not. So in this case, I would think the audience is probably right. I've disabled um, turning off the game when the timer gets to zero. So this gets to zero and it's still fine, you know, because again, I had to make it flexible for some people you know and all that okay so close this and i can say intersection is what is a cell if that is fine you know i can then move to the next my money tree increases right timer back and my ask the audience is what is grayed out because it's been used so you can walk away at any time it tells you you know how much you are walking away you know with and all of that i mean this could be an interesting way to conduct you know like a quiz testing how good people are in excel most times at the start and end of my training i use this um you know to ask the questions so it's kind of more interactive people can say no let's use 50 50 here let's use you know ask the audience it's it's more fun even though you could just have typed the questions in a spreadsheet and you know asked them and just got in the answers easily Okay, so I'm just going to close this and return back to Excel. And as you can see, it's really not, well, maybe the VBA is complicated. But once you load your questions in here, the 10 questions, you load in the options and you load in the correct option, that's really all you need. Every other thing, you know, just works. 
from there. So I can always change, you know, the question set and it gets loaded and it gets displayed. So which brings me back to my axiom, which is the fact that if you can think it, you know, Excel most likely, you know, can do it. So I think it's a good place, you know, to end this video. So thank you for watching. If you like it, click the like button. You can also share the video and you can subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. I'm out.